Hello everyone, Crystal Vision here and welcome to a new Spyro Reignited Trilogy video. Today, we are here with some new Spyro 3, actually some of the very, very few Spyro 3 stuff we've seen so far. Spyro You the Dragon, this is courtesy of, again, uh, Pez.tv, a good old Australian publication. Looks like they've got the drop on some Australian uh, related footage here, of course, Sheila being Australia, the level being meant to be set kind of in like an Austrian world. That's Sheila's out, that's kind of hilarious, but you know, that's, that's the whole, that's the gag. Here we are, I wanna talk about Sheila's uh, new appearance because uh, it is definitely one of the more to me more rabid changes or, or is rabid is not the right word but I'm not editing that out one of the more more drastic changes um, and I guess I'm gonna sort of yeah I guess I'll talk about what I think they've done right and what I think they've done wrong about it um, I think that overall I don't hate it not nearly as much as I thought I would I do question why they had to make her look more like outwardly female, but that's more of a that's more of a question that you could ask about, you know, the entire industry in general. Like I feel like that's there's almost a switch like that where it's like if something's female or whatever, you've got to make them, you've got to give them hair, and it's like the whole anthropomorphic thing. Um, also, interestingly enough, the art style here looks more like the original screenshot. This, this to me, looks like it could potentially be really, really old because look at um, look at the way the grass is. It's very similar to one of the early Reignited Trilogy screenshots where it almost looked like it was like cell shaded or, or something like that. So, um, looking carefully, you'll see that uh, she is now uh, what the Australians would uh, rather de derogatively uh, refer to as a ranger. She's got red hair. Um, you know what they say in the words of... Uh, the teacher from Summer Heights High, Rang is on a race, Jonah. But uh, yeah, as she's uh, she's redhead, a redheaded, uh, I guess kind of brownish, depending on the the shade. But yeah, uh, you'll see that she has like kind of like a ranger top, like kind of feels like one of those Kangaroo Island esque, you know, like tops. You know, um, Kangaroo Island's a place in South Australia. It's like big tourist destination. It reminds me of like one of those like we have park rangers or something like that, which I guess that's what they're going for. Uh, I guess that makes her feel more Australian. That certainly doesn't look Austrian. Um, you see that, you know, body shape wise is fairly accurate, but what I want to do is I want to show off some footage from Spyro 3 here, the original game. You'll see there she is um, looking nice and expressive and Spyro, of course, big green eyes, uh, no hair, no hair needed. I mean, like, yeah, okay, you could look at that and go, like, you can't hear any audio here. You look at that and go, well, it could be a male, but it's like, my opinion on that is that it doesn't really matter. I don't think it really matters if, you know, I don't think that uh, they need to give her hair to make her be like a female. I think that that's, that's in a way, that's a whole other topic really. But um, yeah, I love Sheila in the original game. Obviously she's very simple uh, looking, you know, it's not like a crazy design, not crazy texture or anything like that. But I actually do genuinely uh, enjoy you know, you know the the original appearance, um, and here's some gameplay stuff as well. You know, from more of a top down angle. I love the pattern on her back, and I'm sure that they'll have that in the final version. Um, yeah, I think that overall, overall, I do not hate it, um, but I do, I do think that sometimes less is more. And obviously, it's too late. I think for anyone to change anything, I think they're happy with the design. I'm sure they can appraise it. Um, I guess it's just it's more of a I, honestly, it's more it more comes down to a. a dare I say being a product of the times um, where this is what this is what sort of game design and and like d d designing female characters is more like again it sort of sounds like I'm going into a topic that is more serious but you know overall again I have to reinforce I do like it um, I do like it I just think that they don't need they didn't need to add here if they don't want to I think a lot of people are going to like it though and I think that that's okay too I think that they're gonna like I I would say overall I'd probably give it like a six or a seven out of ten I reckon some people are gonna absolutely love this look and you know what that's great um, that's cool actually having a look at Sheila's out in depth a little bit more as well you will see that there's actually a hat on one of those deers, whatever they eat, like antler things. You see there's a hat there and it looks like they're wearing some kind of, what is it like no, like an anti something. It almost looks like a, almost like a, a sports team again or something like that. Red and white um, and white in the words of uh, the legendary Bob Ross. You can see also it looks like, you know, there's a bit of snow, you know, like there is in Sheila's Alp, of course, because they're obviously high up in the mountains. So I think that that's a really cool thing. Uh, again, thanks to Pez.tv, uh, Pez Pedestrian, for providing this. Thanks to you again, Logan. You're a lad. You're a good lad. You are a legendary uh, content provider, as they would say. He, he gives me all the scoops, and uh, I personally have to shout him out. But um, yeah, 
We'll be back soon with plenty more uh, in the future. Uh, there's going to be some good stuff dropping. And in the non-Spyro realms, I have a kind of a... If you, if you guys are, are staying up long enough, you will be excited to know that I will be starting another LP again. I will be finally starting a new LP, and it's going to be Scooby-Doo and the Cyber Chase. I cannot wait. I'm going to have my friends along for the ride there too as well. So anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I'll be back soon with more stuff. Crash Insane Trilogy should be back on track as well for anyone that cares about that. And uh, yeah, the channel is uh, it's going to be great. It's, it's very exciting time, and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Oh my God. <laughs>